So 15, 4 times by 0.582 minus by 0.125 times by 15.528 is equal to 34.208. How false? Okay. So this question is pretty abstract. The key thing, I'll let you guys finish copying this. The key thing to watch for, okay, which I make mistake, is you have to realize that at point G, you have a what? M-A-G-Y. Are we clear? Okay. So now for the last chapter, uh, the, the last chapter is so-called kind of like straightforward. Kind of, okay. Don't worry, I will do a lot of examples. And if my teaching evaluation, I get 75%, I will zoom in on which question will come out. Okay? So one of the question will be from homework what? Homework nine. One of the question will be from homework eight. One of the question will be from homework what? Seven. I will tell you what is going to come out on homework nine. Not exactly, but rather you have to do what you have to do how many questions are in homework nine i think a lot i will half your study time how's that okay i need 75 percent. okay right so now we are going to go into a new topic and if we look into our textbook uh where's our textbook so if you look at our textbook, I have to be careful that I don't open the exam. That will be so funny. We seen it, we seen it. So our last topic will be known as chapter 18 is work and energy. Okay, so it's on work and energy. Okay. So we are, I mean, I'm going to use the same terminology used by the textbook. Okay. So kinetic energy. Don't ask me why. Okay. I don't know why. They use the term P can be expressed. as the sum of translation and rotational kinetic energies for uh, general plane motion. Now, for our case, we only look at what? 2D or planar. Okay. We don't do 3D here. Okay, some, I mean, 95% of the cases you can do 2D analysis. Okay. In what case you need 3D? Anyone? What case you need 3D? If you send anything up to where? Space. Are we clear? Okay. Good, good luck. I don't agree with the space program, but there's not enough food already. And we are doing space. So P is equal to half M V, okay, G over here squared plus by half I G, okay, omega squared.
A scarf subscript G means what? At the center of gravity. So I believe all of you are very familiar with the one, with this equation. Okay. For this case, this is solely looking at translation. For this case, this is solely focused on what? Rotation. Okay. So for pure translation, the cases. Okay. So when we say pure translation cases, when the body or when the rigid body. So all our analysis is based on rigid body. We cannot do this with gelatin. Okay. It's subjected to only. So two types, curve, V linear, or translation, or rectilinear. The equation will just have T is equal to half M V G squared. Okay, so there's a diagram that I'm going to attach to here, and this diagram you can find on your avenue to learn. Okay, so this is what we mean. So uh, about point G, right? As I say, the velocity is acting at the center of gravity. And over here, omega is equal to what? Zero. Okay. So this is uh, very obvious. Okay. So in the second case, okay, in the second case, for pure rotation cases, Okay, so when I say pure rotation, we're going to take this diagram. Over here, okay, when you have pure rotation. So for this case, the rigid body is rotating about a fixed axis for this case the fixed axis will be at point o okay so the body uh, has both Translation. Okay. And rotation. Kinetic energy. So we know that T for this case will be half M V G squared and then half ig omega squared and note that vg is equal to what omega rg so t will be equal to 0 0.5 m omega squared rg squared plus by 0 0.5 ig omega squared okay i'm going to stop here i'll see you guys tomorrow
and take care. I'll see you guys tonight. Some of you. Okay, not all of you. Okay, sorry, you have to call people. If you can make it tonight, it's important. It's more circle still, but we're going to look at principal stresses and orientation of carbon fiber. Okay, if you can make it. If you can't, it's online, live, and I'll still upload the recording.